I just finished the outline. It's very much gonna be one of those books where it builds slowly and slowly. I think that's unrealistic if you are a normal person who has like a nine to five job. I haven't figured out exactly who's gonna die yet, but I think there's gonna be, somebody's gonna die. Welcome back to another writing vlog. I've had a nice, lovely, chill morning. I'm trying to not be on my phone immediately in the morning. And I've done a pretty good job the last couple of days just starting my morning with a book. I'm just trying to reduce my screen time. And I think it really helps my mental health and feeling like not overwhelmed the first thing in the morning by checking like Instagram and checking my email and that kind of thing. I am reading. A science fiction book who would have thought um, it's actually been a minute since I've read a science fiction and so I was just I was really needing one um, I honestly couldn't tell you the last one that I read I am reading a half-built garden by Ruthanna Emrys I don't know if that's how you say her name she's written a few other things this is the first thing that I've read by her I am six chapters in something like that the main thing that I would like to do today is finish my outline um, I thought I was gonna do it in my last writing vlog. It didn't quite happen. Um, I feel like I'm sort of playing leapfrog with myself because I've actually already written the first two chapters, but I haven't actually finished the outline. So I really need to finish the outline, figure out where I'm going. This will just be version one, draft one. Things always change um, like throughout the writing process. So I just need to get something down on the paper and then continue writing on the actual manuscript with chapter three. It's very much gonna be one of those books where it builds slowly and slowly, and then the last like five chapters, like the last 50 pages, you're like slapped in the face, um, if that makes any sense with like all of the action. And I haven't figured out exactly who's gonna die yet, but I think there's gonna be, somebody's gonna die. I actually have a couple pages to finish. Guillermo smelled a stink bug and immediately vomited on the rug. So I had to pause in the middle of a chapter and take care of that. I'm gonna read the last like three pages of chapter six, I think, and then I'll get into writing. there's like a gray block on the ones that I've written just to kind of give myself a visual. Previously with manuscripts I've like I've done a lot of extra work that I don't know that I'll do this time where I like summarized each chapter in a couple of sentences like on an index card and posted the index card on the wall which is a kind of fun visual way to track your progress and feel like you're being productive and you know writing every day which I don't always write every single day because I, I think that's unrealistic if you are a normal person who has like a nine to five job. That's a problem for future me. It's not really a problem, just something fun to figure out because I don't know exactly how I'm gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna keep track of everything because it is a lot. We're sitting at about 12,500 words currently. That's just on the outline. Um, I have no idea how I would translate that into like 
um, a word count or a page count for the actual book. And I'm not, honestly, with the first draft, I don't focus on that. I try not to focus on numbers at all. I'm not trying to hit a word count goal on the outline. I'm not going to try to hit a word count goal on the manuscript. On average, generally, like looking back at other manuscripts that I've written, I average about 5,000 words a chapter. I don't know if that's a lot. I don't know if that's not very much. Um, I think that's probably a, like a good chunky chapter. I think you do typically expect longer chapters for like fantasy style books. There tends to be like more world building and that kind of a thing and so a longer chapter does make sense but I do I do really like a short chapter just for pacing. I have very little to finish up I feel like. Um, I just have a couple of chunks here that I need to kind of expand on. Hopefully I can finish it today and then we can go run some errands and maybe get outside again because we have had some really stormy weather. It actually hailed the other day and then there was like blue skies 20 minutes later. That's just what it's like living in the Midwest, I guess. So I would like to sit out there and read a little bit. Now I'm just procrastinating, so I, I need to actually get to work. It's a little bit later. I am hungry for lunch, so I'm gonna pause and do that. Um, <laughs> but there's, I thought I was like so close to being done. I feel like this happens where you feel like you're really close and then all of these new ideas come to you. I don't wanna like cram them all into the last chapter cause like I need the story to be able to breathe a little bit. But anyway, I'm working my way through those final plot twists, cliffhanger type things. I, I am actually right at the end, so I do think I'm going to be able to finish it in this video, thankfully, but I'm hungry. So let's make lunch. been really good all day and I've not been on a screen but I am gonna watch some YouTube while I eat <laughs>
I just finished it. I just finished the outline. <laughs> I am, I don't know. I feel like moments like this are kind of anticlimactic in real life, if we're being honest. Like I know it's a big deal, but I'm just here alone in my apartment. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell my boyfriend later today when he gets home and he'll be like proud of me and happy and stuff. But I just, I wanna take a moment to appreciate all the time and effort that I have put in. Let me see if it'll show me that. 13,434 words, that is where we ended. Created, I, so I created the outline on February 13th. Revision number 235. So I've revised it 235 times. Total editing time, 3,055 minutes. Where's my calculator? Okay, I'm not a math person, but I know that I can put that number into my phone and divide it by 60, and that'll give me how many hours? Almost 51 hours. That's a lot. How many days is that? February, March, April, May. Three and a half months, roughly, that it took me to finish. I'm not mad about it. I think we're gonna go ahead and print it, so I have it. I always like to have a physical copy of everything. I guess we could get started on chapter three. I do have some errands to run. I could run to Target real quick and get the things that I needed. I have a pickup order, and then we could come back and read some more, write some more, but that's exciting. <laughs> for the rest of the day to be honest. Um, the writing, most of the writing, the bulk of it is now done, um, at least on the outline. So that's exciting. Maybe we can come up with something when I get home, something fun and creative for like a way to, like a way to track the chapters that I've written. Something fun and visual. Or maybe I could do it, I could do it in my, my journal. The journal that I made, I forget which one that is. It, it was maybe writing vlog 11, 10 or 11. So that would be really cool to put it in there, like a little tracker, like a chapter counter tracker, a chapter counter tracker. Uh, or we could just call it a chapter tracker, something like that. That could be fun. Also, this flavor of Olipop is like maybe the greatest thing ever. We just went to Whole Foods the other day and they had a whole bunch of flavors I've never tried before. It's so good and it's actually like banana puree. It's not like banana whatever. It's really good. I don't really celebrate with alcohol, but I will celebrate with banana cream. Good morning everyone it is the next day i was going to show you really quickly um what i did for the chapter tracker thing that i was mentioning um if you missed i forget which vlog it was i have a whole video where i take you guys through this precious journal <laughs> that i picked up from i think books a million um i'll see if i can find it and link it below i don't know that i remember the brand i have gone through and I actually kind of took you through the pages already. I can't really do this like this, but in that video, in that vlog, I take you through like a tour of it at the end of the video. But this is where I keep all of my ideas organized. It's kind of like a physical Pinterest board. In fact, I started it with a Pinterest board, saving all the photos, organizing them, and then I printed them all out and pasted them in here um, and made the pages look all cute. So I have a section on characters obviously they're kind of important um what the exterior of the 
mansion looks like. That's like the main setting. I was just gonna show you guys this little tracker. Now, did I spend a lot of time on this? No, I probably spent like five minutes. Um, so it definitely could use some improvement. I'm thinking this is probably just kind of a, like a rough idea of what I'll do. Basically, I'll just go in and highlight a box when I finish with that chapter. So I started at zero for the epilogue. Um, and then I can actually go ahead and fill in one and two. I have no idea how many chapters it'll be. I just drew 20 boxes and then stopped. Something like this will be cute um, to just open this whenever I finish one and have a visual of kind of how far I am. I'm gonna eat my breakfast now. Um, we, I think I said this earlier, we went to Whole Foods the other day and balled out, <laughs> which is rare. We don't really do that very often, but I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and my little pastry and my book is around here somewhere. Um, so if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. I do have that Wednesday Adams video that I promised you guys coming out soon as well. So I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.